What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. So I have a message. Things can change. Things can always change. Um, now, a lot of you guys are like, no, you know, this could be about a person. Okay, like, no, like, people don't change. That's not true. People change if they want to change. Okay, like, you can't make somebody change. That's a fact. That's, that's a, we should tattoo that on somebody. Let me stop. But um, things can change. Someone has changed. Things are changed. Yeah, believe it. Okay. I don't know why <laughs> I feel like I have to say that. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing beautifully well today. All right. So let's see what's going on with you. I'm going to pull two oracles and then we're going to clarify. There could be a connection here with a Gemini, a Cancer, a Leo, or a Virgo. That could be significant. I don't know why that came up, but it did. Oh, you have that call too. Um, who had that? Leo. You could be doing with Leo. Bottom of the deck is the great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hit soul tribe. Wow. Wow. You're now getting it. It's now every, it, it's like what you don't see coming is that everything is going to start making sense. Like why everything happened the way it happened. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like you're going to take a break once it's happened. You're going to be like, hold on a second. I can't, I need, I need a second. Like, and you might want to take a second because you might, you might realize that something is actually a lot deeper than what you're seeing. I don't feel like bad. Like, I don't feel like, I just feel like you're just like, hold up. Like, I need, I need a second. This could be like, I don't know. Like you realizing that you have to commit to something or that you're about to commit or something a lot more serious than you thought. I, I don't, I'm not a hundred percent sure where this is going, but you know what, you know what that is for you, right? All right. The first card you have is star seed here. What lights you up? What lights you up, Taurus? What makes you feel good? What brings you happiness and joy? Occupation. When it comes to your work, when it comes to your studies, when it comes to a, a, a um, what was I gonna say? A curricular, extracurricular activity. Like, what is it? Hmm. Where's occupation and star seed? Why are they bringing this up? Oh, 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 yeah, that's why you're in your head. Okay, this is, this is what I'm going to tell you here. You have the Hermit in reverse, the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Cups in reverse, and the Death card. You're going towards a transformation when it comes to your job or your whatever it is that you're putting a lot of time and energy into. That's changing, right? Why? Because you need that you're going through this, this change where you need to start picking jobs that actually make you happy and you need to hold yourself accountable for the fact that a lot of you guys i mean we all do it we all do it and we all get pushed to get out of that everybody does anybody who gets in this energy gets pushed to get out of it so don't feel you know what i'm saying but um yeah like you're you're being you're going to be guided to look at why you go towards things just for the money, just for things that you don't have any interest in, things that you don't want, you know, things that don't take you, like, why do you do that? And it's always going to be because of something else or somebody else or whatever. And then you got to look at that. Why, why do they hold so much weight in your life? And why do, why does that hold so much decision in what your truly heart wants? Because I don't feel like up till now you've had a job that you're just like... <sighs> This is my passion, you know, for a while, maybe, right? You've been in your head like, why can't I get a job? Why can't I get a job? Because you're looking for just bad jobs. You're looking for like just whatever is going to pay the bills. No, really sit there and ask yourself, what can I see myself doing 
what can I see myself doing for the rest of my life or for the next six months or for the next year, whatever. And and do it from a soul perspective. Don't think about the, the money. Don't think about the, the how it's going to make me look. Don't think about none of that. Because you're not making these choices for work or these extracurricular activities from your heart space. It's coming from your mind, the logical. And that's not, that doesn't last long. Or, you know, it's just not solid. And I feel like your inner child is trying to come out. What did you like to do as a kid? What was entertaining for you, right? Think back then. Um, but you're being guided to kind of do that. This, this, especially if you've been looking for a job and you haven't been able to get one, you got to change your perspective. Okay. Um, and for those of you who aren't in a job, I feel like your job is about to um, get shooken up so that you could start looking elsewhere and when you do look elsewhere make sure that you're choosing things that make that you're just like you know what i i truly it will enjoy this okay could be um i don't know i was, I was gonna say it could be with a gemini but i'm gonna say that there could be a gemini involved in this situation all right the next card you have is limora creating heaven on earth it's happening it's gonna be with another um earth sign but it doesn't have to be here i feel like your material world is about to expand but i feel like you have to go through some type of emotional situation first with all this water on here false person in reverse somebody um is about to be shown to you that um they cannot be trusted What's Limora and false person? Like someone's true colors is about to be shown. Look at all of these cards, bro. I'm gonna take them all too. Higher fit. You're here to show yourself support. Could be a Cancer, another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have the Moon, the Higher fit, the King of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Cups in reverse, the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. Um, this could be about a marriage here with a higher fit, a commitment as well to something. Um, it could be higher learning. It could be knowledge. It could be school um, or it could be work, whatever this is. Right now, there's someone in this situation here that um, is holding a lot of secrets. And I want to clarify what those secrets are. Um, they feel like you have it. You have it all like you got it going on with the higher fit and the king of pentacles. They look, they look at you very stable, very knowledgeable, somebody who knows their ish and can nobody like um match you in that energy because i feel like you know a lot about a specific topic or about a specific thing okay um and i feel like this person it's like they did this to themselves like i'm seeing them walking themselves out of this situation and i feel like it's because you made them feel less than in some way you made them feel like they were little I don't feel like you were doing this on purpose. I feel like you just know your shit and somebody is not, doesn't have enough confidence maybe. I do feel like you're very much independent and you don't, you're not in like codependent energy. Like you don't need nobody. Like you go all by yourself. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're, you know how to take care of yourself. Um, I feel like you kind of saw this coming with the Four of Cups in reverse, but I feel like you're still gay to this because, again, you were just like, listen, like, it's like you have a deeper knowing. Like, I know that you feel like I'm, you know, a lot better than you when it comes to my stability or the knowledge that I know. But, you know, I'm going to give to you because I want you to know that I feel I still feel like we're equal. Like you are doing everything right. OK. You have the Four of Swords here. You were easing this person's mind. You were. But it's like they just couldn't let it go. <sighs> let me see what this moon is here. What is this moon? Six of Pentacles, a star, and the devil with the Ten of Cups. This person was hiding that they were... Um, they were giving to something here that was very negative, very toxic, very. Mm -mm. It's not what this person It's not what this person wanted to do. It could be an Aquarius or a Capricorn, but they felt like they needed to. 
with the six of pentacles here because i feel like maybe they couldn't come to you because they felt like you were on a like hmm but that doesn't excuse like the reason why it's false is because you were you weren't acting different yeah maybe your surroundings looked different yeah maybe you had more money than them or more stability than them or whatever but you wasn't changing how you were acting you know what i'm saying you weren't you were still being who you were this person couldn't it, it's like they couldn't they had there were there's a strong pull that they had to somebody and again i don't feel like you knew that they were hiding this or maybe you did but i feel like you did know that they felt a certain type of way um this is like an ego thing and i feel like this person could have put you through ish right with this false person in reverse it's like you had to find out that they were being malicious behind your back it's not like or you're going to find out it's not like they came to you and you felt the bad vibes like no like this person came on some happy happy yay you know like this person made you feel good and then they saw how you were moving and they were like oh Tars is moving like that oh well i i i don't have this and i, and I don't have that and blah, blah, blah. you know like that type of energy but I feel like after you walk away from the situation or after you go through the situation or after the situation passes is when your stability comes in. Okay. Um, but first you had to, you had to go through this, unfortunately. All right. Hold on. Cause now I gotta fix this. There's a lot of cards here. Give me a second. all those cards were important all right the last card you have is answer the call what is your soul calling you to do where is your call <laughs> what is your soul calling you to do taurus huh your soul definitely wants to go in a, in a certain direction here you have main female they want you to go towards someone sex does not matter this could be somebody who you talk to every day already or somebody who you've been thinking about who's been on your mind um they do want you to go towards this person. What is main female and answer the call? You have the chariot in reverse, the ten of pentacles in reverse, the knight of swords, and the ace of swords. I see why you won't though. <laughs> um, could be a cancer, doesn't have to be. So something came something came to a quick halt with this person, like bleep, stop, control, alt, delete. Like out of nowhere. It was going really good at one point, and then it just it just hit the fan. Okay, and it became very unstable out of nowhere. Um, I feel like you could have lost some type of financial situation as well with this energy. You have the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. They want it's either you're going towards this person or somebody's coming towards you with clarity, with the truth, with honesty. They're coming in flying. And it could be that your soul is telling you to allow this person in, to hear this person out, to there's something that's happening with this person that the universe wants you to hear this person out. They're coming in. There's something about this truth that is going to help you, Taurus, in a way that you probably didn't even know was going to be so, like, like I don't, is it effective? No. It, it's like that it's going to matter. Like, I don't think you, you ever thought that whatever they have to say is going to matter until you hear it. So, yeah. There's that. Okay. Prepare yourself. All right. What is occupation and star seed? Some of you guys are a star seed. You should Google that. Okay. What is occupation and star seed here? Like, you guys are meant to be helping people or, um, you know, being in an environment where you're supporting others. Um, what is occupation in Starseed? Do you have mystery? Hmm. Move forward in reverse and discernment. I feel like the universe does not want you to, like, move forward with this job that you're in. They don't want you to try to excel or move up. Like, they want you to make, to use your discernment and to really see if you want to even, if it's even beneficial for you to stay here anymore. I don't feel like it is. You have support in reverse. I don't feel like you have anybody really around you that is, like, um, rooting for you. 
anyway. I feel like it's their way or the highway. And you can't grow in that energy if you, if you, they don't, if you don't even have a say. Okay, what is false person in reverse and Lemurira? I can never say that. Blessings. I told you, you got blessings coming. You got blessings coming after this after this happens. And it's like, it's crazy because if before people thought that you had it, you about to over have it now. Like decisions in reverse. You you gonna make you gonna know exactly what to do with this person because you're gonna be like, bro, I was nice to you, my guy. Like I could have closed the door. <laughs> Re-energize, yeah. I mean, this needed to happen because the universe wanted you to stop giving to this. Because they were like, you're giving to an energy that is not great, is not grateful for what you're doing. It's not grateful for the fact that you are still giving to them. What is main female and answer the call? Patience. This took a long time coming and it's coming. Okay. And then you have acceptance in reverse. They want you to accept it and love in reverse. Open up open up you're you're open up hear them out innocent someone's not as guilty as you think okay all right taurus all that i have for you i hope this helped have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive